guys for stopping by my channel again i just want to say thank you so much for watching my previous video and show me so much support i love reading all you guys comments and suggestions and feedback i don't even know what to say i was just really happy of all the positive energy coming so i'm planning a series on my channel where i create several looks using different palettes that i own um but i wanted to know what you guys want to see do you guys want me to use one palette in a couple videos and then give my final impression review and then move on to the next palette or do you guys want me to alternate palettes in each video so that there's more variety rather than just sticking to one palette let me know in the comments below what you guys think so today's look i create a smoky eye and it's pretty dramatic <laughs> compared to my first video um, and I added false lashes just because I felt I needed a little glam then I also paired it up with a nude lip because if you wear a bold lip and a bold eye it's going to clash so you kind of want balance everything out so if you wear a neutral eye you want to wear a bold lip you wear a bold eye like this you wear a neutral lip does it look balanced? <laughs> Well, I hope you guys like this look right here, and if you do, just keep on watching, and I'll see you soon. Alright, here's a close-up of my face so that you guys can see everything clearly. Let's start off by priming our face so that our makeup will last all day and night and stay put. I'm going in with Benefits Professional to cover up these pores. I like to apply this around my nose area between the eyebrows and the chin so that we will look flawless. Next, I'm going in with Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade 123. This is a great foundation because it doesn't have SPF, which won't have a white cast on your face, so it photographs beautifully. And it's also buildable from a medium to full coverage. I'm using a Real Techniques complexion sponge to blend everything out. Now I'm going in with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard, and I'm applying this underneath my eyes to conceal those bad boys and the bridge of my nose and between my eyebrows to give them a subtle highlight because this concealer also gives a brightening effect. And I'm going into Anastasia's Contour Kin, the color Banana, to set my under eye concealer. Then I'm going in with Makeup Forever HD Micro Finish Powder using a small kabuki brush applying this onto my T-zone because I have oily combo skin. So I'm usually shining these areas so we gotta keep things matte. Next I'm going into the shade Fawn to contour my round face. I'm pinching my brush so that I could get a more precise line. And then we're going to blend that out and apply a little bit around my temple area and jaw so then everything looks seamless. I apologize for going out of the frame, but I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Blush Palette in the color Mood Exposure. It's a subtle mauve color that gives a hint of color to our cheeks since the eyes are going to be pretty dramatic, so we don't want to overdo it. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks and everything looks good. Alright, moving on. Time to prep our eyes. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer in Eden, which I got this as a sample from the Naked palette. And we're going to apply that all over our eyelids so our shadows will crease and the colors will show up more vibrant. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. So I'm going in with Anastasia's Brow Wiz in Dark Brown. I'm brushing them out first with a spoolie and then filling them in. I'm using a light hand in the inner half of my brow and apply more pressure at the tail. Then I'm going in with the spoolie end of the brush again to blend the harsh lines together and make them look more diffuse. To set my brows, I'm using the Anastasia's Tinted Brow Gel in the color Brunette. I love this brow gel because it keeps my brows to stay in place and the tint color lightens up my brows to my liking. I'm first going in with Salted Caramel from the Chocolate Bar Palette. It's a soft matte brown color with the red undertone and we're using it as a transition color in our crease. Next, I'm going in with Satin Taupe from MAC. It has a satin sheen finish to it. I'm applying it all over my lid and a little bit above it because I have a small eyelid and I want the color to show prominently. I'm using a tapered blending brush with no product on there to blend out the Satin Taupe and the Salted Caramel together so that there are no harsh lines. Next, I'm going in with Brun by MAC. It's a matte dark brown color and I'm using it with a fluffy small brush to apply it onto the outer V and up to the crease but we're mainly focusing the color on the outer portion of the eye and whatever is left on the brush I'm just going to lightly blend brun and satin taupe together and drag brun a little bit into the center 
I'm applying tape starting from the lower lash line to the tail of my brow so that the eye look will look more precise and clean cut. I'm going back in with Brun to pack the color, focusing on the outer edge of my eye to intensify the color, and then blending it up to my crease. I'm using the blending brush to blend everything out and going back in with salted caramel to warm up the look. Oh, looks like I went back with Brun to add a little bit some more. Once you're satisfied with the intensity, it's time to rip off that tape. Just kidding. Remove the tape carefully so you don't hurt yourself and look at the difference. I'm repeating the same steps on the, with the other eye. So again, I'm putting Brun on that outer V and to blend it out. And it's easier to build up on dark shadows since you don't want to add too much of the dark color, otherwise you might end up looking like a raccoon. So just take your time with the step, gradually adding the color, and then you can take it a step down if it's too much or intensify it more. And rip off that tape and voila! Now I'm going with Champagne Truffle to highlight underneath the brow bone, and this is a shimmery, pearly color. Next is to apply eyeliner. I'm using Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner in black, and we're going to create a cat eyeliner. And take your time with this because, as you can see, I messed up, it, but of course we can fix that with a little bit of shadow. I drew my wing where the tape line was and connecting it and then filling in the missing areas. I then went in with Satin Taupe to cover up that mistake I did earlier and now it looks like it was never even there. I'm going in with Sin by Urban Decay with my ring finger to apply it to the center of my lid to give it that spotlight effect. It adds dimension and especially when you're taking photos, it really highlights that area of your eye. I'm using a clean blending brush to just blend the edges out. I'm then tight lining my eyes with Too Faced Perfect Eyes in black because we're going to add some false lashes. I went out of frame, but I used satin taupe and brun with a smudge brush, and I'm smoking it underneath the lash line so that the eye makeup looks balanced. I'm using Tarte's Eyelash Curl and L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to coat my lashes and lower lashes. Ugh, can you guys see how amazing this mascara is? This camera does not do justice, but this is an all-time favorite of mine. The step is optional, but I normally don't wear false lashes, but for this look, I wanted to make it look more dramatic by adding some falsies, and I'm using Ardell's Demi Wispy's Glamour Lashes. Can you see the difference it made? Anyways, I'm doing my happy dance because I got the other pair of lashes on without messing up, and I'm going to take a quick drink break. <laughs> We're almost done here. I'm applying Benefit's What's Up Highlighter onto the high points of my cheeks to give it a nice glow, and I'm blending it out with my ring finger. So the last step is going in with the Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color in the color Nude, but I thought it looked a little bit too plain, so I went in with Dior's Fluid Stick in Tiny Pink to top it off. I love this color. It makes my lips look so healthy and gives off a natural color. And we are finally done here. So this is the final look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and tried out for yourselves. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any more suggestions or requests or what you guys like to see next. Um, whatever, just throw it at me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!